But yeah, man, welcome back to the Snake Trap Sessions. I am so excited to be back. of Canada. What is good everybody? It's your boy MJ up in the building. Welcome back to another episode of the Snake Trap Sessions vlogs. If this is your first time tapping in, what is good? I'm your boy MJ. Do your boy a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, be a part of that notification gang. I appreciate you guys so much, but man, I am in the deep wilderness of Canada. Okay, well not exactly. I'm sitting on a residential property right now, but we are at my buddy Christian from Morphin Endorphins place here in Canada. We are on our way to Will Morrow's place. As you guys know, Will from Royal Canadian Reptile. Shout out to my boy, Will. We have an amazing podcast going down, which by the way, make sure you go follow the Trap Talk with MJ podcast YouTube channel. We, I bring all the hottest, newest, up and coming reptile keepers inside the game. Coolest reptile podcast in the world. That's the fact. Message. Christian is well seasoned in his boa collection. He's been breeding boas for a long time now. He also has ball pythons. So why don't we tap into my boy Christian's place and let's just see what this boa collection is all about. Gee, look at Oscar. Oh, you're such a beautiful dog. Hi, Oscar. How are you? You're very good looking. Christian from Morphin Endorphins. And what part of Canada are we in? North of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Okay, I gotta say, beautiful place, man. Beautiful property. I'm very excited that, you know, I, I was actually invited here to check out your collection. So I bought that? my first boa in 2007 and uh, fell in love with her. And uh, that quickly uh, exploded into a larger boa collection and then uh, had some success breeding boas. And then uh, we got into ball pythons a couple of years later and really enjoy the contrast between life birth and eggs and uh, just been rolling everything back into this ever since then. So the boa game is your foundation you would yeah. say and the ball python game is just well, now picking up you would say? or No or? I, I got heavy into ball pythons like a few Pre years ago so okay. just basically trying to buy recessives and then breeding and holding back and breeding and holding back so I have way more ball pythons now just simply because of the size of them okay. and uh, and the space that I have. So, but forever I'll be in love with boas and I'll always keep both, so. Wow. It's uh, basically the ball python room here. We've got uh, more hatchlings than uh, had planned. So I've got an extra hatchling rack, which isn't here usually and some overflow. Uh, ball pythons, we also have some boas in some of these tubs, the larger 9506 tubs. So this is where you keep your adult boas? Some of, I've got some more in the other room as well. And uh, yeah, so it's a, trying to trying to mimic conditions of both species. Uh, boas like it a little more humid than ball pythons. But, right. Uh, but yeah, so we got the HRV runs to bring That's in right fresh right. air. We got a 45 gallon drum that pumps uh, pumps humidity into here. The HRV really sucks out the humidity. So this, so is, this I is a have whole humidifier? This is a humidifier that I built. It's got a... Oh, you built this? Well, it's got a floating dock inside, which is from uh, from Florida Mist, Mist Company down there. Okay. And it just gives off mist, and then the fan, it's on the timer, and it just pumps out humidity into the air. Because of the HRV, and then the air conditioning too, because, you know, it's that problem of having too high temperatures in here when you've got eggs in the incubator so i got to keep it air conditioned i've got a furnace room in here with the hrv there's a lot of things you got all play. that stuff sucks out of humidity what are some of the things you're most excited about that you just recently made i love vpit positive all right. and i love the img stuff and of course red dragon stuff they just get better and better and better so that, that, that was a, that's a baby right there. This is a baby, and I don't uh, no, There's probably that's a jungle as well, but there's no motley in there. Okay. So we're looking at a comparison here, hatchling to what it basically will develop to into a two-year-old. Yeah. Two-year-old, right? Yeah. Awesome. T 
Tea Positive Motley Jungle mm. Sunglow. Sorry, there's hypo in there too. Jeez. Back saddles. Oh, so this one's a male, so he might go to one of those BPI T Positive IMGs. Or he might go to a blood and start that whole double recessive project over again. This is, I mean, you're showing me stuff that's like, I mean, like I was talking about earlier, what's kept me in the boa game was the IMG stuff, right? right. But now, like, holy shit, bro, this yeah, is, this it, is, I mean, I've, I've glimpsed at stuff like this, but I've never seen it in person. I, I call VPIT positive the desert ghost of boas. Wow. Because as they age, they just get better and better. It's and cool. that's the, that's the overall goal for any snake keepers. Have sure. the snake looking better, not better, older, not, not worse. Yeah, right. right? Yeah. This is a VPI T positive moon glow. So instead of the call in the moon glow, you have VPI T positive. So a caramel moon glow. Look at the eyes and the bend of the tail. It's just unreal. Oh wow! Look at that's that a blood boa. So just a regular blood boa, and yeah. what's what's what line? Of, is there a line of blood out There's there? There's two of them. Yeah, Ron St. Pierre line and the. Uh, oh. Hmm. This thing is gorgeous, bro. Look at the face on that. How old is she? Uh, this one's three. So she's little. Yeah, she, I mean, not uh, little. She's young. Excuse she's me. She's young. Yeah, yeah. St. Pierre and Barry. That's the other one. Barry. Okay. Blood. Yeah. And this is a, what line is this, St. Pierre, or is this a... This is a St. Pierre, yeah, yeah. They say Barry is better, but it was just bred uh, at, uh, blood to an El Salvador, so the red comes from the El Salvador, but I've seen some pretty stellar examples of each. And I've seen some crappy examples of each. And she hasn't, even, right? she hasn't been bred yet, I'm assuming. No, she hasn't. No, yeah. no, no. And not in these tubs. She's going to get upgraded. Next week, we're doing some upgrades, and everybody's getting bigger tubs next week. So Awesome. We're going to put a lot of ball pythons, uh, move some ball pythons up. Uh, your, your experience breeding boas in tubs versus like a 4x2, um, have you had any difficulties as far as... Uh, with anything breeding boas and tubs at all? I mean, um, I wouldn't say so. I've had some some uh, some challenges over the years, but I think once you iron out kinks in any system, either is, is as good as the other. Um, so for instance, what's a hot spot for your females? Like your adult females in the in a rack system have what kind of a hot spot? So ninety, yeah, I have them at ninety all the time. Yeah, yeah. And that's and then ovulation. Does it get kicked up at all, or is it always just no, stays I at ninety? No, I leave it at ninety. I don't change temperatures. Okay. And uh, I remember reading Jeff Roney, who wrote the Boa Bible, basically um, suggested that they breed in spite of temperature drops, not because of temperature drops. So that was all I needed to hear. So I don't play around with temperatures. I do drop the room temperature about four degrees in general in November. But uh, as far as night drops, I don't do night drops for ball pythons. I don't do night drops for, for boas. What's this background on this? So this is a het leopard. Wow. Reverse stripe het leopard. Stripe on the Reverse stripe yeah. het leopard. Yeah, and this is it. This is full grown. This is awesome. Yeah, so she's gonna get moved up as well. She'll be breeding this year. Um, to what? To another one. So it would oh, be nice. one and four would be leopards. Okay, cool. And then hopefully these stripes, because this actually was the first litter from that same pairing where these stripes popped up. Right. So that's a good indication that she's het leopard. There's also suggestions that leopards and het leopards, so like a um, instead of recessive, that, that, that it's actually a super form. So that the hat is usually a visual hat a co or a codom and that the super form is the leopard. So that's an argument that has been going around for a while. But Boas, huge part of your foundation, but ball python game, you're definitely going knee deep in, right? Yeah. For years, you can see now I'm out of room, so now I have to be more selective <laughs> it's about It's a struggle of any I, keeper, right, oh, to be honest. Yeah. what it comes down to. Yeah. Like we were saying on the way up here, I think room is more space is more precious than money right. or, or time right so space and time yeah Jeez. so same thing recessives is where it's at of course and i was told years ago by a guy in the business who's uh you know you'll make money on recessives and you'll pay the bills with codons and i think that's kind of term now and you'll make money with recessives or you'll pay the bills with recessives and, right. and profit with double recessives everybody's going double triple quadruple recessives now and uh and you know 
obviously it's not all about the money, but of course it's about the money. Come on, we're growing up, so you know it's about the money. It's about the money, but it's, it's I love making money. Rack. So why don't we dip into one of your most passionate projects with the ball python? Yeah. What's something that you feel uh, bestly about? I love lightning pines. I love Mark Mandix line of Xanthic. I got a couple here. This is a regular one. Yeah, shout this out to is... Mark Mandix. Marcus and Jane, by the way. Yeah. Shout out to this them is both. the MJ Xanthic pie ball. And she's proven breeder, or she's no, uh, not she's ready? Proven, yeah, okay, she's proven, yeah. Awesome. She's proven. Uh, she's given me three clutches, I believe, so Dude, far. Look at that. It's, it's like I'm staring at black and white right now. Just... So I produced this one. Uh, no, Mark produced this one. I uh, picked her up from a friend who was getting out. And then I produced this one, which is like almost identical, yeah. except this is pastel. So it's the same pattern, almost identical. And she's gravid, so she was bred to an orange dream pastel desert ghost. So thick, and of course desert ghost, I'll even I'll get that desert ghost. And uh, what's this one right proof? So this is pastel orange dream desert ghost. So he's, he's going to that, that. Yeah, sorry, the, the uh, MJ uh, pie. So um, lightning pie. So that'll produce pastels, super pastels, and orange dream that are all triple, triple heads. Yeah. That is, uh, Another long road. Mojave Ultra Male Female. She just Ooh. hit 1500. It's like a golden snake. So and the cinnamon Ultra Male. Yeah, I like cinnamon. I love the stripes from the cinnamons. I mean, cinnamon can be dicey. You gotta be careful how you play with yeah, cinnamon. Yeah, I wouldn't you know put I mean? that into pie. Right. But yeah, I'd you're love to see that in cinnamon. clown, right? right? So that's, uh, oh, or sorry, Mojave. Cinnamon Ultramel. I'm gonna make Ultramels brighter. Okay. And uh, I think that that will dull out the oranges. So you're trying to go with like the purples? So yeah, purples. I want to get this in the in the clowns. Mojave and cinnamon don't look great with pie. Same right. thing. Right. So I'm gonna leave this out of pie, but I want to see that in clown for sure. What is I, this one right here? That one's yellow belly, lesser, pastel leopard. Pet Desert Ghost, 66% at Clown. Oh god, that's that filthy. that out, I'll be a monster. And this is one of those situations where, like, the hat looks better than the visual. Right? Like that, yeah. my, I don't think there's yellow belly in that, but that's a pastel leopard, uh, lesser clown hat mm -hmm. Desert Ghost. And, like, I'd take that oh, over yeah, this like all day long. The visual looks cooler. Yeah. GHI. So this is the Xantic line of GHI. Xantic and GHI. Oh, Xantic and GHI. I like that. That looks awesome. Head pied. Oh wow! So we're yeah. gonna get this in pie. I have one too. I'll show you one. Oh, Chai yeah. lightning. Oh, the good stuff, buddy. And then hypo Mojave GHI. And then GHI MJ Zan. So I know you were super proud of making these uh, this yeah. year, correct? I mean, you, something you've always been a fan of. Yeah. Um, so to make it, I mean, I, I just made some of these uh, last ooh, year. Ooh, oh, whoa, 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 sorry about that. That's okay. But man, what, talk about a snake that's just, I mean, I don't think Pops, this snake eh? will ever get old. Yeah, I mean, no. I mean, as far as old looking at, I love seeing this. Simple combo and GHI, that's yeah. it. That's it. It's like one of the best triple combinations. It is like really, before. yeah, for sure. Like. This is one of the ones like when you have on your table, people cross the room to yeah, go see. Just to come right? see. Like, and then honestly, compared to a lot of other stuff, that's thousands of dollars, very yeah, affordable. Yeah, you know like what I mean? This would be about 1500 bucks. Right, all day. Right? Like, yep. you know, these guys would be way more than that. I right. And this is just as nice as these guys. Yeah. Some would say yeah, nicer. All three, but yeah. Depends if you're on more of a pet person or are you an investor? Yeah. You're in a good place. But I think if you had these and you produced, you know, like even as an investment, you could produce those, and that price probably wouldn't drop below no. fifteen because there's just not a lot around. Always like, going to be fifteen Lucy's, a pop, right? and they're going to go off the table. Yeah, bells yeah. are always going to sell, are always gonna sell right. for three to four hundred dollars all day long. So why not make a designer type bell? Right. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, good stuff, Christian. This is an ultra male pied. Ooh. Ooh, nice, bro. I was going to say so, ultra male pied stuff. Ultra male nice pied. Too. So he's just sired his first clutch. Uh, ultra male hat pied. So hopefully have some more of these coming up. So you're definitely on top of the, 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 yeah. the recessive and game for sure, buddy. Yeah, it's all about doubles and clowns and pies and right. just making clowns and pies 
different color recessos and pie clowns and because you, know, you understand different. how many people are like oh should i get clown and clown or pie well fuck you need both yeah <laughs> and put them in together why you know do you mean? have yeah. to yeah. choose you right don't, yeah, same no as choose. boas and ball pythons right. why would i want to have to choose between the two why so not both? why not both now right? for anyone out there watching the vlog wondering what's the best way to see what you have available when it's available how do we how can we all do that before we sign out here uh morphendorphins.com i have uh i do have um morph market but i haven't been very active uh on morph market i gotta step that up i gotta step up the website instagram uh, you're pretty instagram, active instagram i'm pretty active on that's probably my my most uh used platform for sure. yeah for sure and uh, and facebook as well is good yeah and then um, and then also guys please remember that we have a podcast going down tonight which christian you were the yeah. sponsor of this podcast yeah. thank you so much for making this podcast even possible uh but yeah you can catch christian with the whole fucking RCR uh, team. We have Super, we're gonna have Will, we're gonna have Khalil. Yeah. So many heavy hitters from Canada gonna be wait. tapping in. And I just wanna say thank you for all your uh, support. And honestly, appreciate thank it. you for having me and Matt here. Check out your yeah, collection, man. Time. Appreciate I appreciate you, you so coming. much, Christian. Thank you. Appreciate you, you guys coming up. All right, guys, that's all we're going to have on this episode of the Snake Trap Sessions vlogs. If you enjoyed what you saw, please do your boy a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Smash that like button. That way you're on top of every single vlog I drop here every Saturday morning. And then also do your boy a favor. Head over to Instagram. Follow my boy Christian at Morphin Endorphins. And I'll catch you guys here next week for another Snake Trap Sessions vlogs. And I'm out. Cheers. Thank you for watching this week's Snake Trap Sessions vlogs. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell that way you're on top of every single vlog that's released here on every Saturday. Please remember to subscribe to Trap Talk with MJ Podcast as well, and I'll catch you guys here next week. Cheers!